Tonight, some Kern County dads had the chance to get their groove on with the most important women in their lives, their daughters. 23 ABC's John Genovese joins us with the story of one daddy-daughter duo that's been dancing for a decade. John? Amanda, when Ruben Mosquez first brought his daughter Lisa to the dance 10 years ago, she was barely up to his waist. Now he says the two are neck deep in memories of the event that will last them a lifetime. I can tell when he's ready to get going and shake a leg. Lisa Musquez has had a decade to learn. I remember I was walking in, was kind of nervous, didn't know what to expect, but then I ended up having a great time. Back then, she was 10 years old. Now she's 20. I think it's great to bring my daughter to something like this, and uh, I'll come as long as she wants to come with me. For Ruben, her dad, it's a shuffle back in time. When I look back at the pictures, it's uh, it's kind of uh, exciting looking at uh, the way things have gone and how she's grown up to a uh, beautiful young lady. Tonight at NOR Veterans Hall, around 150 dads and daughters took part in the yearly daddy-daughter dance. I admire their dads. That's a lot of dancing for them. Organizer Lisa Walker says the annual tradition is her favorite event of the year. A lot of the people have been coming back every year, so it's really exciting to see the girls grow up. For Lisa, it's a chance to cherish. I am just so extremely blessed to have my dad, and I am so thankful for the opportunity because I know a lot of girls would do anything to be in my shoes, and I'm just I'm so happy to have the dad that I have. For Ruben, a moment he'll hold on to forever. But I have an awesome daughter. She's she's uh, just been a joy to be around. Uh, just something that uh, I think every man should experience with their daughters, how great they are and, and enjoy them because, you know, life's short, life's very short. Yeah, very short indeed. And dads and daughters also had the chance to take photos and win prizes. For now, it's probably safe to say we'll see Lisa and Ruben back there next year. Amanda, back to you.